Well, it really came through the client work that we were doing, right? We had the fortunate uh, opportunity to work with some of the largest global properties in the world, some of the best brands in the world. Um, and they came to us and said, look, we really care about fan engagement. And we would do our strategy sessions. We do some consulting work around the research that we published. And we would try to unpack in those conversations what they actually meant when they said fan engagement. We said, okay, close your eyes. What do you picture your fans doing? Well, they're engaged. Well, what does that mean? Are they cheering? Are they standing? Are they buying something? Are they wearing something? What do you mean when you say engagement? And the challenge for our customers to literally verbalize what it was that they meant when they said fan engagement or that our fans are engaged was really the crux of the research to move forward for this year, which was we really needed to help the industry take that term apart, stop using that term, honestly, and start doing things the way that retail does it, healthcare does it, other forms of entertainment do it. They do things where they design for specific behaviors. There's a whole world of consumer behavioral research, which is like, how do we make a consumer do the thing we want them to do? So we introduced the idea of stop saying fan engagement and start saying fan behavior. And when you start thinking about the fan behavior, then we can really get prescriptive about which companies to work with and how to really optimize your business around that opportunity.